What's up, people? What's going on? This your boy, Markel, the guy. Uh, Markel, Easy Street, Eaton. Uh, it's a Facebook name. Um, Reverend of the Streets. It's my ex-YouTube name. I still am that same person. Um, I am billionaire Markel. I am something like a shaman. Practice a little little voodoo here and there. Um, you know, I'm, I'm on the spirit. I do a little yoga, uh, meditation, and, you know, I uh, do partake in the herbal rituals, you know. So, <clears throat> I just left from, I guess you can say, uh, I just left out of I, uh, nature, if you want to call it. I was outside. I was in nature. I was, you know, just barefoot, you know, feeling the earth. I had my hands down in the dirt, digging in the ground, you know. You know, I was up on the tree and everything like that. And, um, you know, I was just doing my yoga and my meditation and my breathing, and it felt real good. And um, as you can tell, it had some real good benefits. Cause I'm feeling real cool right now, real peaceful on the inside. And um, I was gonna make a video yesterday, but I didn't. I really wasn't in alignment. I wasn't feeling it vibrationally. I wasn't on the right frequency. You know, I hadn't done any spiritual work prior, like up, like leading up to that moment. I have been doing some work here and there, but up to that moment. If I would have done it right then, it just would have been just like straight, like ego based, like lower level, low energy, low frequency kind of, you know, um, content. So now, you know, I went out and I got kind of got myself right so I can come to you and I can bring you something fresh, something good. Something that you can, uh, something you can receive, right? So, basically, I want to talk about what I got coming. I want to talk about the videos I got coming and uh, what kind of new information, what kind of new new stuff, some new some new new we finna get into. So. Um, Two things, shamanism and voodoo, all right? These are two subjects that I'm going to be getting into. Um, I really like them both because, for one, they're both spiritual practices that are very, like, um, engaging, it's um, freeing, it's very exciting. Um, I like the idea of astral traveling and shamanic journeys and um, doing soul retrieval and you know, healing those emotional wounds that you know we all have. So, um in voodoo, I, I love to do rituals. I like the whole idea of it, you know, with the candles and manipulating the the natural forces through the use of elements, you know, natural elements, herbs, oils, uh, candles, um, crystals, um, everything. So I just want I want to show y'all a couple of my stones. Where really. Yeah, just a couple. Um, these are some, some stones you can work with. These are the stones that I work with. And me personally, I like to use multiple stones at the same time, you see, because we, as multi dimensional beings, we don't just emit one frequency at a time. We, I feel, in my opinion, that we emit several different frequencies simultaneously without knowing it. You see, so 
we have chakras, we have energy points in our bodies. Your whole body is an energy system, you know, with different frequencies and different functions. So I like to work on several different parts of myself um, on a non-physical level at the same time. So I use several stones at the same time. So we got an obelisk. This is a rose quartz. It's really pink. It looks like you see it shining, got the light shining. I charge them up under the full moon. So they're very like potent right now. They're energized, they're charged up, I cleanse them, and they are on point. See, this is my rose quartz. I use this to do my emotional body work when I'm working with, you know, um, just emotional, just pain and trauma, um, anything dealing with, you know, relationships, um, just self-healing on an emotional level. That's what we're using this for. You know, this is like, this is the bridge right here. Okay. Um, <clears throat> It's one of my favorite stones too. Uh, this is uh, amethyst right here. Now, I want to tell you a little short story about this amethyst, okay? This amethyst, before I even got it, right? Before I went and picked this up, all right, I was sitting um, in the living room and I was meditating and um, it was a kind of deep meditation, not too deep, but deep enough for me to have a vision and see this exact stone the exact same way in my meditation I seen it in the vision it was much larger in my in my vision though in my meditation when I seen it it was much bigger but it was exactly like this it was round circular kind of shape with the amethyst crystals kind of like all over the top of it like little like little mountains like little tiny pyramids all over it right <clears throat> so immediately after that immediately like I came out the meditation I put on my shoes and I went to trip three it's a um, smoke shop that they sell stones incense and all that kind of stuff and um I walked in and lo and behold, they had the stone. I walked straight to it and I said, I want that. And I bought it and um, I walked out the stove with it. And, you know, here it is. Okay. This is my hematite stone. This is used for grounding. It's very big, a lot of energy, real strong. Um, I was meditating with it last night. I was actually um, attempting to do uh, a shamanic journey. I was, you know, what I did, it wasn't an attempt I did, but <clears throat> this was just used to keep you grounded during like astral traveling and, you know, out of body experiences. And it helps you to bring back with you safely the information that you bring back in the healing or whatever it is that you're bringing back from the spirit world into this realm this stone the hematite stone helps you to secure that information and to remember it basically you know it's also good for like the root chakra and your earth chakra which is beneath your feet these are your chakras that are outside of your body you have the soul star which is above your head and a couple of other chakras that not many people talk about but <clears throat> okay this is my lapis i wear this lapis for protection and um it's also symbolic of throat chakra, which I need to do some work on my throat chakra. And I just, you know, I got other stones. I ain't going through all of them. I don't really want to do that right now, but I just wanted to let y'all know what I got coming. We're going to be doing some, we're going to be talking about some voodoo. We're going to be, you know, getting into some, some shaman, some shamanism, some shamanic kind of work. So that's what we got coming. And, uh, 
some yoga too. Yoga is good. Like going into nature and really just like not really caring who sees you or what they got to say or what they think. You just let go, relax, you know, it was real peaceful. So shout out to everybody out there. Um doing their spiritual work, doing their thing, you know, sharing information, sharing their experiences. And um yeah. So I feel good. Uh, this is my first time back on camera really in a while. I feel comfortable still. Um growing. You see I got my head tied up. It's a purple shirt. It looked a little blue, but you know, I got that got that crown on my head right now. So it's all it's all good. So yeah. Yeah, that's what we got coming. That's what we got coming. So um y'all stay up. Uh Keep doing your work, you know, and um, stay blessed. And uh, much love to everybody, you know. Shout out to, you know, everybody. <laughs> so, yeah, y'all get at me. Wink, wink. <laughs> yeah, holla at me, you know. I'm reachable. I'm reachable. Totally reachable. So yeah, peace, love, bless, and remember to breathe.